Hi, my name is Shannon. Hi, I'm Golan. And this is our van. So today we're gonna go over our top tools for building a van. We both built this van completely by ourselves. I did the build and he did electrical and plumbing. So I guess let's get into it. First, I'm gonna go over my top tools for like the build and then he'll go over his top tools for electrical. And how I'm ranking mine is by like most important tool to least important, even though they're all important. My top tool is a jigsaw. There's so many things you can do with a jigsaw. If you're trying to buy as little things as possible to get the build done, I'd say jigsaw is probably one of the most important things because a van is round there's not really not very many square cuts in the build so all the things that i did using a jigsaw was cutting the flooring of all the edges around the van the door panels the door every door panel is rounded the fan install to cut through the van i installed the fan the walls right here it's curved right there the counters to cut out all like where the sink goes where the stove goes where the cup holder goes and even to cut them cut the different pieces i also used a jigsaw to cut rust out of the van since our van is kind of old and then even for the furniture because the walls essentially round out all every single piece of furniture isn't a straight line it kind of rounds out with the van and i'm sure there's even more things i use the jigsaw for that i'm not remembering right now you can get away with just a jigsaw and not need a table saw or a miter saw obviously it's better if you do have a miter saw or a table saw but you can get away with just a jigsaw so the second most important tool is a drill i mean i used a drill almost every single day. I needed my drill to assemble everything. Drill holes in the van and the holes I needed to drill in the van were, for example, the water release going through our gray water tank is mounted underneath our van, which I had to, had to attach with a drill, but even making the hose go through the van to that tank, I had to use this and make hole through the bottom of the van for the ground wires. I had to make holes in the van for rivet nuts. And then for the fan, to make the hole in the van, I used a big drill bit and did four holes in each corner and then used a jigsaw to connect the four. I used a lot of pocket holes throughout the furniture or throughout the build and you need a drill to do the pocket holes. To use a hole saw, drilling these holes for our lights attaching everything essentially so if you're gonna build a van you need a drill my next tool is a measuring tape this is kind of obvious but you need to measure essentially everything that's in the van so i think that's pretty self-explanatory yeah measuring tape next one is a square so i was a woodworker before this project but i only had this square but since starting the van i've bought three more squares i bought this one and this one and then i even have a bigger one that's for drywall but is kind of really inconvenient to bring it in the van you need at least one square because everything is rounded in the van you can't really measure from the outside of the wall the first thing i did when we got this van was install the flooring and i messed up because i started laying the flooring along one side of the wall but because the walls go like that and like that i started making it crooked so pretty much you need a center line to line up everything and you make it square from that center line you can't rely on the edges of the the van to be your measuring point even assembling these cabinets i had to make sure the wall of the van is rounded i had to make sure that this was going straight up and down with the flooring so i had to use this a lot to make sure that this was square from the flooring like that's just one example of that and actually this one is super useful because i use a table saw a lot or the jigsaw if you're cutting any piece of wood i would just measure where i'm supposed to cut it take this to the table saw line it up that far and it just saves a lot of time this one because you can adjust it my next tool is this 
rivet nut tool which this essentially helps you put rivet nuts in the walls. It pretty much makes it a lot stronger than just screwing through metal. And I used this for the door panels, for the ceiling, for attaching the furniture to the car. Oh, the, even the curtain rods. How I hung up all of the curtains was with a wire and I attached the, the wire with a rivet nut and like a hook. I'll just show a picture because I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> the like fish, like hook thing? Yeah, a fisheye hook. Fun? Yeah. The handles on the door, we're using this. Attaching the walls, I used rivet nut tools. Yeah, attaching all of the furniture. It's a really fun tool also. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's really satisfying. <laughs> um, my next tool is this. It's called a socket adapter hex square nut driver, I think. But this little tool and pretty much it replaces a ratchet this one honestly isn't totally necessary but it just makes things go a lot faster you can attach it to a drill and then from there you can attach any of these and this actually came in a pack with two others and then you can attach this this just speeds it up a lot next one is a sander we have an orbital sander isn't completely necessary you can just use like a sponge sander or just sandpaper and hand sand it but it will save you a ton of time because ideally you sand everything three times so every single piece of wood in here we sanded three times and it was a lot faster with an orbital sander than by hand sanding it and we actually formed like a pretty much assembly line of pretty much I would get all the pieces ready. I would have one grit of sandpaper, he would have the next, and we would just go to town sanding. I guess my honorable mention one is a table saw or miter saw. You can get away with just a jigsaw, but it really is helpful and it will really quicken things up. If I would have to choose between a table saw and a miter saw, I would choose a table saw because you have more, you can cut more things using a table saw and a lot of the square cuts like the cabinets the furniture um i cut using a table saw because if you do use a jigsaw it will be kind of hard to get a completely straight cut but i guess over time we got really good with getting straight cuts but it does make it easier but it's it's not completely necessary so that's why it's my like honorable mention so for me, my criteria for picking my favorite tools um, was more just stuff that I wish I knew and was really hard to find going through a bunch of other like, you know, camper van websites and stuff. It was sort of things that I had to find out the hard way. And so I want to bring up those things that are almost neglected, I feel like, and very important to the van build. Um, so these are my favorite tools. Um, the first one is a, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, is a Ferrule, Ferrule crimp kit. It's basically something that you attach before you crimp to any wire. Um, it's this little like circular looking attachment and it just goes on. They have like a bunch of different sizes, but it just goes on the wire before you actually crimp that wire. It made crimping so much easier because when I first started crimping, I found it, I found it to be so difficult and this just made it so much easier and also made me feel much more secure with are crimps because one loose crimp can really mess up your whole system. So highly recommended to get the Ferrule crimp kit. Um, there's a bunch on Amazon, it's super cheap, totally worth it. And I'll link everything down below. Yeah. The next thing, this one is probably the more straightforward. You might have already thought to get it because it is a little more common, but I saw a bunch of DIY videos when they, this is a, a heat, what do we call it? The shrink ray gun. I think yeah. it's a heat shrink gun. Um, it's meant to, you put this little shrink wrap at the end of the wire once you finish crimping and whatnot, and it's meant to just make it a tight seal. I saw a lot of people online were using like lighters, some people were using just electrical tape. It's definitely not a good idea for safety and aesthetically, it looks, it just looks sloppy if it's electrical tape all over. Um, so I highly recommend it to get this just for safety and it'll look much better. And it's um, quicker too. It's much quicker and it's really cool, really fun. You'll see it shrink around their wire. It's really satisfying. I think you liked it too. Yeah, so. it was my favorite part of the electrical system. My last and last but not least, um, this is a bolt cutter. And this, I actually got it for cutting the, our thicker wires. Um, anything that was like above two gauge or whatnot. 
Highly recommend it. And the reason I especially brought this up is you actually have to ask at Home Depot. You have to ask for it specifically. They hide it because a lot of people steal and break and, and vandalize with these. So it's one of those things that if you're just walking through Home Depot, you won't find it. Uh, so you gotta make sure to ask for that that hefty bolt cutter. It'll make cutting the larger wires much better. But you can use it for a lot of other things too. So highly recommend it to save that time. Um, if you got those bigger wires, this is that third mm -hmm. and final thing that I recommend getting. So I think that's it. Well, thank you guys for watching and please let us know what other videos you would like to see from us. If you have any suggestions for tools that you feel like might do better jobs than what we've already brought forward, please. Add in the comments if we missed any tools. Well, thank you guys and see you next time.